Good morning, and I greet you in the name of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ, the one who is our Prince of Peace. I want to begin by saying thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your phone calls. Thank you for your love and your concern for those who've been impacted by Hurricane Ian. My friends, I want to begin by reminding you the Lord said these kind of things would happen through the Apostle Paul. He reminds us that all creation groans as if in the pains of childbirth. It's a reality that we live in a sin tainted world. And certainly this is evidenced by the damage that we have seen. We have uh, more than a, a dozen churches with uh, damages uh, ranging from uh, roofs to uh, uh, damages to structure uh, to some with water and flooding that came in. They're all repairable. We thank the Lord for that. But these damages can easily run uh, from anywhere probably from $50,000 to several hundred thousand dollars. We have 20 workers and staff from our schools and our churches who have been impacted. And in Florida, a hurricane deductible can easily run from uh, eight to $10,000. And that's if you're covered because many who did have flooding do not have insurance for such. But indeed, my friends, we praise God. We thank him that there were no injuries, there were no death. We thank him that the damage is not more severe. We thank him that indeed these damages, they're repairable, and the ministry and the work we're doing for the Lord will continue. Indeed, there is incredible faith and witness happening, even by those in the midst of what's going on. They continue to be those servants who are proclaiming hope and life in Jesus' name in the midst of their own loss and suffering. And my friends, that is due to not only our faithful God who is abiding with them, but to you undergirding them in prayer. And so again, I say thank you on behalf of the Florida Georgia District and all those who have been impacted. Yes, all creation groans. But Paul also reminds us that in these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For nothing shall separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. So many of you are wondering how you can help. Yes, indeed, absolutely continue to pray. Secondly, we ask that you would come alongside of us, that you would help us to help those in need, because we do want to partner with Lutheran Disaster Response and you, the people of God. So give. Give through our website, www.flgadistrict.org. You can also, if you are a trained LERT a Lutheran Emergency Response Team member, you can sign up through the website of the Synod, or you can access that through our website as well, because we are in the midst this week of opening up two camps that will be managing uh, a response in those areas of Southwest Florida. And my dear friends, we just ask you to just continue to keep each of us in prayer as we walk together as the body of Christ with those who have gone through this. But we are praying that in the midst of this, and we ask you to do the same, that God will use this for his glory and his purpose. That many will look to us and say, how are you doing this? How are you going forward? And it is all through Jesus who is in us, the one who is our hope, the one who is our salvation, the one who is our refuge, and he is theirs as well. Thank you again. I'm James Rocky, the district president for the Florida Georgia. Thank you.